Hi, I'm Tracy. My husband Nick and I come to France every year to enjoy French life. We search the markets for antiques and treasure for our business in New Zealand. Recently, we have bought a house in the southwest of France that we are renovating. Follow us on our journey as we take you through our weekly adventures. Hi there. I'm going to give you a tour of the ground level uh, where the living areas are today. Because we've been working on the downstairs bathroom laundry area, we might Jeez. as well have knocked out a few walls to join the shower and the toilet area together. We hired a French plumber to install the hot water tank, who ended up being fantastic. He worked really hard and we'd offer him coffee for afternoon tea and morning tea and he'd down it in about two seconds and off he'd go back to work, which was terribly un-French, we thought. <laughs> first arrived. This is the laundry now, which is part of the garage. <laughs> I'll just put Lino down here, which just hides an amazing amount of paint splatters. We found this gorgeous 19th century cupboard uh, in a brocante, which we thought would be perfect for the laundry. It had been painted brown and it was very scratched, um, but with a quick undercoat and a fresh coat of paint, a perfect towel cupboard. So then we've come into our downstairs loo and shower. thrilled with now. It was just a hole in the wall. We had a toilet in one area and a shower in the other. But now it's one cavity, one whole piece. No. It's done these lovely tiles and a gorgeous chandelier. Right there. Great water pressure. <laughs> yeah, we hardly ever use the shower downstairs now. That was the only one we had for about three years. So now, really, we've got our own upstairs, and this is just maybe when we've had a swim.
the living room. But anyway, everything else is intact. Okie dokie. Finally, starting the hall. We still haven't got colours. No. I'm just playing with gold. Gold's easy. Yeah. It'll stay no matter what. So you like to start with gold and then move on. Oh. Oh. And it's really the the entrance to the house, so it has to be, it's the first thing people see. Yeah. Quite nice to have it finished. Yeah, full of beauty. It's quite interesting looking through the camera at it. Did you fall off? I've got it on video. Oh, thank you. Don't, don't video my bottom. Of course not. <laughs> it's Michelangelo looking at us. Hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting up to the first landing. In front of us is the storage rooms. I guess that they were um, for the brooms and linen. Quite tiny, but sort of useless to us at the moment. We're not sure, we weren't sure what to do with them. On the right is the master room. And on the left, the princess room, which we'll be head up to is people staying in it last year. It's not, this is all sort of ruined from the last I was pulling off, I think electrics, and been a bit rough, but it's still beautiful. I think it's all hand painted up there. And that goes up again to the next landing. So the pretty room. We've we done the bed. It was a dark, old, shiny varnish, and so we've painted it and restored it to make it look a little bit more uh, feminine, I suppose. Fit enough for a princess. Original wallpaper and original ceilings. All frescoed. There's a big crack there, but that's old age, like most of us. Two French doors out to a balcony. That's the carpenter across the road. This one on the left hand side hasn't been fixed yet. We, it was bought like that and just sort of locked it up until we can restore it floor had been damaged in the flood, it got a bit of dry rot, so um, the last owners pulled it out and just left it as is. So Nick's just put a temporary pine um, floorboards on until we can put the old floorboards that we've got, similar to the ones here, in, but that's just another job. So at the moment it's just hiding a lot of mess and we don't want to go through the floor. Mirror, that was here. And a gorgeous marble fireplace, I think it's my favourite. Little marble tiles. We're not sure whether it goes or not yet. We've got the chimney man coming this week. 
found this gorgeous old um, wire in a second hand shop. I've never seen another one, but um, unfortunately it had sold on it. So I asked the owner if ever the person would like to sell it, I'd love to buy it. And he said, well, it's been here too long, so you can have it for the price that the other buyer bought it for. So now we're in possession of this stunning Italian armoire. It even came with little tassels. But yes, I was really thrilled with that. A bird cage I found in a Bacant, but she was in a market. still doesn't have um, power on the ceiling. <laughs> We've just got a, a dangling chandelier at the moment, but there's uh, little lamps that go and a few plugs, so that's been fine for now. We decided it needed a toilet and a shower, so we decided to put one in the closet. <laughs> which is just It's just a jump. We haven't finished, obviously. You can see we've still got to paint the wall. We put in a lovely old washstand and took out the floorboards for the princess room and have added tiles here, which will be better for water splashing from the shower. Strong shower, lovely tiles. So once it's fully beautified, I'll show you again. It's a very high ceiling. <laughs> Chandelier might go up there. But for now, just a one bowl night. So that's a little. Last year, when we had friends to stay, we didn't have any en suites upstairs. Um, except in our rooms, so we decided to put them in there, um, but we didn't have a bed head per se, so we painted one on the wall. Um, we love it, we've still got it uh, there until we find some magnificent one, which might take us a few years, but yes, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. There's good light. I thought I'd take you in and show you the master bedroom. This is nothing's been done to this room in terms of decoration. It's exactly how we uh, how it was when we saw it. The only thing we've done is clean it and bought some furniture temporarily. Um, so. This is the wallpaper that we will it will have to go. It's a little bit busy, as you can see. It's got a stunning ceiling, and it's a huge bedroom. Ourselves, we have um, a couple of temporary little side tables, and we found this in a demolition yard last year that we will paint. It's far too dark and heavy, but it's a, a lovely big piece, so it was perfect for this room. And it's still got its curtain rods. And terrace going outside to the little deck. We have our coffee sometimes in the morning. We found these frescoes under all this grey paint. We haven't quite got it all off yet. You can see there's still remnants up the top there. But we're slowly 
taking all that awful grey paint off. Um, there's not much left of the frescoes, they're really uh, weathered away. But it's so lovely to see some of them still, still there. Imagine it would have been very uh, full on <laughs> out here. And it's got more frescoes here that are hardly any left. You can just see the detail up there under that grey paint, but most of it's flaked away. Well, it's lovely and sunny. This is four o'clock. Sit outside here with a glass of wine. It's got the most, these little shutters here from the bathroom. We haven't put them back up yet because we uh, tiled the floor and of course we have to cut a little bit off the bottom. And this is beautiful old doors with hand painting. So we'll leave them as much as we can. Touch them up a bit when they've all chipped away on the edges. And the most stunning mirror. One of the many gorgeous mirrors in the house. From a lovely working fireplace. We found this hilarious Debonair cat. The original master suite uh, bathroom was very basic. It had a leaky old toilet and hard, the plumbing really wasn't working. So Nick ripped it all out and created a gorgeous bathroom. Ah, I love the walk-in shower. There's always a little bit more glamour each time we, we come back. lovely terrace which we're just doing at the moment. Nick's waterproofing it. It's got a whole lot of interesting cracks that have been sealed up by tape. So he's busily trying to um, get that and that overlooks the gorgeous Peugeot clock tower. <laughs> 